Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this super cute, adorable baby blanket. So yeah, let's get started with the video. So for this blanket, I used the three colors, three shades of pink, and I used about 200 grams per color to make 12 squares, which is about two skeins of yarn. I also used an additional skein to connect the squares and to make the border. You're going to start off your blanket by crocheting the squares, and to start off with a square, you're going to create a slip knot. Then you're going to chain 30. To do that, you're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through your loop 30 times. So this is what the chains are looking like. Next you're going to single crochet. You're going to insert your hook into the second chain away from the hook, yarn over and pull through. With two loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through both of them. So that's your first single crochet. You're gonna repeat that all across the remaining chains and by the end you should have a total of 29 single crochets. So this is what your first row is going to look like. To move on to row 2, you're going to chain 1 and turn your work around. Then you're going to start single crocheting all across your row and by the end you should continue to have 29 single crochets. You're going to repeat this pattern of single crocheting all across from row 2 till row 5. So this is what our square is starting to look like. So starting with row 6, we're going to start making the bubble part of the heart. Start by chaining 1 and turning your work around. Then crochet 14 single crochets across. Once you reach that 15th stitch, you're going to be doing your first 5 double crochet bubble stitch. To do a bubble stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through. With the 3 loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through too. You're going to repeat that until you have a total of 6 loops on your hook. Once you're done with your 5 double crochets and you have 6 loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all of the 6 loops. And that is your bubble stitch. You're going to single crochet across the remaining stitches to finish row 6. So this is what the square is looking like. For row 7, you're going to chain 1, turn around and then do single crochets all across. This is what the pattern is going to look like moving forward. Each time we make a row of bubble stitches, it's going to be followed by a row of single crochets. This way, all of the bubbles are going to be facing the same side. When you're doing the row of single crochets and you reach the bubble stitch and you wanna crochet that stitch, make sure you don't accidentally poke your bubble and ruin that stitch. So just carefully crochet all across when you reach that part. Now, 
for row 8 we're going to be doing 12 single crochets followed by a bubble stitch followed by 3 single crochets followed by our second bubble stitch and then 12 single crochets across so here's the 12 single crochets and I'm gonna show you again how we do the bubble stitch For row 9, we're going to be doing the single crochets all across. So moving forward, since the pattern is becoming more or less similar, I'm gonna write the pattern on the screen and then I'll show you pictures of how the square is looking like. Now that the square is done, we're going to cut the yarn and finish off. So for this blanket, I made a total of 36 squares, 12 per color, and once I was happy with the layout, I moved on to stitching the squares. We're going to start by stitching the squares horizontally. To start stitching, you're going to insert your hook into the corner stitches of the bottom and top squares. Then you're going to pull the yarn through the two stitches and chain one. Then you're going to single crochet into both squares. To do that, you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch of the bottom square, then into the first stitch of the upper square. Then you'll continue as if it's a normal single crochet. You're going to continue to do single crochets all across into both squares so that you connect your rows. Here I'm also stitching on top of the tail of my yarn so that I weave it in as I crochet. Once you reach an intersection, you're going to attach the new squares by going into the corners of the bottom and upper square and then doing a normal single crochet. You're going to continue to single crochet all across into the bottom and upper squares until the row is done. So when it comes to connecting the columns, it's pretty much the same as what we did with the rows. However, here we don't have clear stitches, so each row is actually going to count as a stitch. And since each square has 
33 rows, we're going to be doing 33 single crochets across. Once you attach your yarn, you can start single crocheting across the rows. So here I reached my intersection, however I still have to do my 33rd single crochet and I'm gonna be doing it in the bottom half of that row. Then I'm just gonna jump on top of that previous connection and then do a single crochet into the top rows of the following squares. Continue to single crochet until the entire column is done. Once you've attached all the squares, it's time to move on to the border. Start by attaching the yarn into one of the corners and then chain one. Then, you're going to be single crocheting all around to make the border. However, in the corners, such as this one, you're going to be doing 3 single crochets in one stitch. Once you reach the end of the border round, you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet to close the round. Then you're going to chain one and do a second round for the border. Once you reach your new corner stitch, which is the center of the three single crochets from the previous round, you're going to be doing three single crochets into that stitch. slip stitch to close the round and then chain one. For the final border round, you're going to be doing a single crochet into that first stitch. Then you're gonna skip a stitch and then in the one after, you're going to be doing five double crochets in one stitch. Once you're done with the double crochet cluster, you're going to skip a stitch and then you're going to repeat the whole pattern of doing one single crochet, skip a stitch and then do a double crochet cluster and then skip a stitch all around to make the border.
and with that the blanket is done it came out super cute and it made such a great baby gift so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you found this tutorial helpful and i'll see you again in the next one bye